Hello. So yesterday we did the, or I did. You didn't do anything. <laughs> but uh, we, I did this kind of Twitter thingy. And uh, the results were, well, nothing really. And I thought about it rather long. Did I make a mistake? In the end, I concluded I pretty much did not make a mistake and there's something wrong. Now there are a few people, a few people that say uh, you either made a mistake and some people say this is the outcome it should be. And uh, then I was, my opinion, after I decided I did not make a mistake, that it must be the weight of the foil or something. And that at least I should gain something. Later, I explained that I expected it to work like, uh, well, I'll explain later, but that I would gain like around 3 dB or something. Well, this is, uh, this is the idea where it all started off with. I was talking to a friend of mine that probably is going to comment uh, about the fact that I did these wrong. It should be mirroring. And the fun thing is I mirrored them. And uh, that's exactly what I should not have done. <laughs> I forgot. I thought this time I'll make it nice, but I fucked it up by doing so. Anyhow, we talked about, or I said to him, you know what I want to try is something like this. Kind of weird frame. It's a piece of MDF and it uses three magnets. Now there are two options when you want to have a stronger feel. At least this is the idea. So, huh? bear with me. If I got the magnets, I'll just draw it real quick because this is not gonna be one of those drawing videos. These are the three magnets you see there. What you usually would do at a piece of steel here. Like this. And um, this will be south, uh, north, south, like this. And your membrane is gonna sit here and conductors will go here. This is like a top view running upwards and in the next thing, well like here it go, goes like this, here it goes the other way around. Because, because the conductors are here and on the left side they're south, right side is north. For these conductors, north is on the left side and south is on the right side. So the magnetic field changes instead of going like this, it goes like this. To counter that, you change the direction of the conductors. In short. Now this contraption uh, I made uses also three magnets. By the way, uh, magnetic field goes also from north to this south through the metal. Or south to north, I, I always, I don't know which direction it goes, but I don't care. And it will make the field on this side here a little bit stronger. Because, uh, well, the magnets are, uh, you know, uh, kind of boosting each other. Because, like I do here, there's nothing. So, there will be the same field here. And here it's the, oh sorry, here it's the other direction. And here it should be like this. And here like this. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Now I don't use any steel. What I do is I'll just attach a foil here. That's the idea. And one foil here. Now I don't need metal. I'll just use every... Well, I use both sides of the magnet so I don't need to have a metal thing there. Uh, because usually if you use one foil, 
then there's still a lot of magnetic field going on on one side, but it's not used. That's why the metal is used usually. Uh, using metal also obstructs a little bit the open area because, well, it has to have holes of some sort. And if you make the holes large enough, there's no metal left. So let's test that and see if this idea is correct and that also proves that this idea was also correct but had a different reason why it did not work. So let's go to the living room and let's measure first one panel then we'll add a second one and see what it does. So there isn't much oh, light here. By the way, both of these panels have, of course, the same impedance. In this case, that would be 2.9 ohms or something along this region. So this is going to sit here. And then I'll just attach one of these like so and uh, use a clamp to hold it standing. I did drill holes to use M5 screw thread, which looks much better, but uh, I found out I don't have bolts long enough. I do have bolt thread, but I don't want to cut any at this moment. I don't like using the zip disk, to be honest, too much. So, just the regular clamps. I'll connect one to positive. The red wire, what a surprise. I want to negative, the blue one in this case. And this is how it looks. Now my measuring mic is here. This is completely undamped, so uh, there will be a very pronounced resonance of the foil. We'll see what that might be. So let's measure that. Let me first check if I don't have any filters or some, something going on. My crossover is set to... Let's set it to 50 Hertz. Not because I think it will reach it, but just to have the, you know, the broadest image without blowing it up or something, if that's even possible. But voltage is set to 2.85 volt. And with 3 ohm, well, I don't care exactly how much that is, but... Here we go. Quite clearly a nasty resonance. And then I cannot use gating, I think, because it's a bit... Yeah, it fucks up the image. I'll just gonna smooth it a little bit. And so I smoothed it. So this is the output. This is the output of one panel uh, with a nice resonance at 191 hertz. Uh, also quite clearly visible in, <laughs> quite clearly, quite extreme clear in the distortion measurement showing here. Besides that, you can see some other kind of weird distortion resonance thingies which are related to the foil and my guess is that open piece on top of every magnet maybe or just a cavity resonance between the magnets who knows could be anything but that's not the point of the video so i couldn't care less so that's one panel now let's add the other one 
which is a bit fiddly because my market clamp cannot open up far enough so I have to think of something else which will be taped because you know that's very nice looking Oh, well, then I have to connect, of course, the wires of the other panel. And what I'll do, I'll connect them in series. Um, but re I think reversed. No, I don't need to reverse it, by the way, because the magnetic field on the other side is already reversed. So I'll just, this is minus, so I'll pop in this green one. And then this one becomes the minus of the two panels. Let's measure this and see what we got. <coughs> so, mm, yeah, then if we look at the picture right now of both channels, playing at the same time. You can see it is rather close to what I got with one panel, except for around 2K and upwards, sort of. Then it, you know, it becomes like a brown winds quite easily. So that might be, I don't know, could be anything, could be the resonance in between, could be the distance from foil to foil. Although it's 12 millimeters, so it should not be a problem around 2K. So it's something else. Uh, and now you would think, well, it's as loud and maybe even a little bit less loud. But the fun thing is we put both foils in series. So that means we're using only half the power we did before on one panel. So indeed, my idea of gaining 3db is not visible right now but i did another method another method to show you that it actually adds 3db is kind of the thing i tried yesterday although it didn't work so the two panels remain in series and i'll remove one panel or other way around i start off with one panel and then i'll add a second one and see what it does that's the same as measuring one panel alone, adding a second one in series, and then have to keep in mind that uh, it actually uses half the power than one panel alone. Uh, I added now a uh, glass fiber stuffy in between the spaces of the magnets, and unfortunately I cut it a little bit too thick, so it is it hitting one of the two foils which creates a little bit of a um, rattling sound but um, here are the SPL uh, differences and the purple being single panel while remain in series and red is double panel while remain ser in series you can see that when damping is used that the upper the top end doesn't change all that much maybe it's because i put it in series to be honest that could be the case as well but you can see from around 2k 3k or something it starts to add up so after that it's 3db all the way down to well apparently 162 hertz why it is not adding up around the resonance, I'm not sure. Or maybe that is where the resonance is. I guess so, yes. But it's so well done that it's hardly visible anymore. So somehow it doesn't add up beyond the resonance. Not sure why, no clue. But 
quite clearly visible here is the 3db win whoop-ti-doo see ya